Hey guys, welcome back to another Daily Devo where you are walking with me through my daily walk in Christ. And today in my readings, I was in Daniel chapter 8. I was super excited because I had a message that was like, ooh, it was good. I was ready to give it to you. But then something happened today while I was having to be an adult. Yes, today was one of my adult days. I had to go pay bills. And so that wasn't very fun. But something happened on the road to where I was going. And it just said, okay, I know I have to save the whole Daniel 8 thing for tomorrow. Hopefully we can talk about it unless something else crazy comes up that I want to share with you. But I had to share with you a little bit of something that really happened, like I said, on my way to trying to be an adult earlier today. Well, as I was driving to go pay some bills, I was passing by these buildings. Now, these buildings I have seen, I don't know how many times. I've been on this road so many times. And so I've seen this over and over and over and over again. And what happened was, let's say here, as I'm driving back home, I see here is, here's a Baptist church, a storage unit, and then a Jehovah Witness temple thing, right? Yeah. And like I said, I've seen these three buildings over and over and over, but for some reason, God just pointed my eyes to these three buildings in a very different way. And it was looking at this, like, here is, here's a church that is worshiping God, then a room full of stuff, and then the people who do need to know God. And so maybe you can already begin seeing where this is bleeding into. And so this message came over me. It's just saying, what is the stuff that's in between us and them? And it's this idea here that you have the message of the gospel. If you don't yet know Christ, please Help me just be able to know that. Write me a comment or something about that. I'd love to be able to share it with you. But for those of you who are Christians who do know about Christ and have a relationship with Christ, you have the most beautiful message in the entire world. And you not only have a message, you have a command from God to go share that message. But so often we let something come in between. Something be that storage unit that we're talking about here in that little example. So what is your stuff that's in between? What have you allowed to build up between you and the people that need to hear this message? And how do we, how do we take care of this? It's this thing is like, what is your stuff? What is the stuff that you put up in between? Let's say this, is it, is it this nervousness that maybe you're too nervous to go and share the message with them because you're worried about what they're going to say or how they're going to react? Is it this fear of maybe not knowing what people like are going to think of you after that? Is it this maybe just busyness because you are just so busy that you can't slow down to talk with someone over this? What is your stuff? What is your storage unit that you have built up in between you and sharing the gospel with people? Because maybe, maybe this message isn't even for you because you are perfect at sharing. And whenever the spirit leads, you immediately jump on it and you share the message of the gospel with people. If you are that, please don't take it like I am like pushing that down. I think that's awesome. And I hope that I can be more like that. But if you're anything like me where I really need to grow in this area, I need to continue growing in this area of sharing the message of the gospel with people, I have to look at myself and say, what is that storage unit? What is that stuff that I have built up in between me and them that's keeping me from sharing the message of the gospel with them? And so today I want to encourage you to pray over this. Ask God, what is it that I have built up as my storage unit, as my stuff that's keeping me from sharing your message of love with them? Maybe it's something that immediately pops up. Maybe you're like, wow, this message is clicking in and God is speaking to you right now and it says, this is what's keeping me from doing that. Or maybe it's a little fuzzy. You're like, I don't know. I just know I don't share the gospel as much, but I don't really know why that is. So that's where I really want you to pray about. See, okay, God, what is it that's keeping me from sharing the message and how can I take care of it? And so that's really just my message for you today. What is your stuff? What is this stuff that you have built up in between you and them and you're sharing the message of God's love with them? Well, today, that's my message for you. Let me go ahead and pray for you and we'll get out of here. Father, I truly do love you and thank you for this message. Thank you for letting me be able to have a different sort of just vision today of seeing these things. Help me to be able to know what's keeping me from sharing the message of love. And I pray as as my family who is watching this, I pray that they 
are opening themselves up to hearing what you're saying to them as well. We love you and we thank you. In your name I pray. Amen. Well, hey guys, as always, I want you to know Jesus loves you and thanks for watching. See ya.